Hi beautiful, thank you so much for being here and joining me today to watch some people attempt to do my haircut tutorials. And if you know me, I just get nervous every time I, I record something like this. I'm excited to see what people do with my tutorials. However, I just always want it to go right that it makes me just so f nervous. But nevertheless, I'm excited to see what happens and I'm excited to watch it with you. It's we time. Not me time. Also, a couple life updates. I have a podcast now, and if you would like to see uh, the other side of me, the non-censored, a little bit hectic, a little bit crazy side of me, please do so with the link right down below. Or go to my podcast channel called Out of Touch. What else is going on? Oh, I have a new hair care product called Super Gloss Ultra Frizz Defense Spray, which is the most amazing, most glamorous, gorgeous Ultra Frizz Defense Spray you'll ever use in your entire life. <laughs> We're nearing summer weather soon. And um, guess what? This will make your hair humidity resistant and super shiny, super glossy, super soft, and your blowouts will last multiple days, multiple weeks. This thing is literally a dream in a bottle and will solve all of your hair problems, I swear to God. So try it out. It is just the most incredible product. The reviews speak for themselves, honestly, so go read them. All right, those are my life updates. Thank you for listening. Let's go watch some people hopefully do something good to their hair following my tutorials. We'll see. So the first video we're gonna watch is um, by a popular YouTuber and it has 3.2 million views and I have yet to see it. Sometimes I don't understand how these things don't come across my suggested feed when it says my name in the title and it has 3.2 million views, but it doesn't. YouTube really has to work on their For You page of YouTube, you know? It really isn't great. Love you, YouTube, but let's fix that. Let's maybe show me some shit. All right, let's watch. This is my breaking point. Have long hair, they said. So many people were telling me, don't you dare cut it. Now that I think about it, all of them have short hair. <laughs> Wait, sorry, she is so fucking cute. It's that voice. And also, just the hair is beautiful. She has some thick, beautiful brown hair. It looks incredible. I'm pretty nervous to see this go because uh, how do we go up from here? I guess she can go up from here. Like, she definitely could use some layering. You know, it's very heavy. And I would like to see something a little bit more airy, fresh, fun, bouncy. You know? This is not going to be one of those videos that you see people cutting their hair, questioning and regretting their decision every step of the way. No, I really want to do this. I find myself wearing my hair in a messy bun 95% of the time. It's boring at this point. Hair should not be boring. Now, what's the secret of having this long hair? Whoa! <laughs> there, there is no secret. Whoa! I did not realize her hair was that long. Oh my god. God, this shot here is crazy. Look at that hair. That is thick, it's majorly long, and yeah, if you're wearing it in messy buns all the time, please cut that shit. There's just like no point. I have less to deal with. It's just easier that way. I had long hair at one point and I would always wear it in a bun. And then I was like, what's the point of me having hair? I mean, I guess to wear the bun is kind of like a vibe, right? All right, never mind. Anyways, today we're gonna follow a haircut tutorial by the king of hair. No, no, that's actually not right. By the god of hair, Brad Mondo. I watch almost every video he posts. That just stroked the shit out of my ego. Thank you so much. I needed that today. What you say, the god of hair? That is so nice. Thank you so much for even th even considering me anything near a god of hair. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna let that sit and marinate and just feed the ego. Cause sometimes my ego is on the floor, okay? I needed to build back and you're helping. And thank you so much for watching my videos. Hairdresser's guide to cutting your own hair. I don't know how much I wanna cut it, to be honest with you. Is that a lot? Please blow dry, then fully straighten your hair, bone straight. All right, so she followed the first step of blow drying and straightening. This tutorial I did was so many years ago. It was like, I don't know, maybe right during the start of the pandemic, so four years ago or something like that. So I hardly remember what I said. And yes, I could look back and, and find out what I said, but what's the fun of that? I like to make it a mystery. I like to um, just not remember and just follow along what I say in these videos. I like to be underprepared. Does that make sense? We're using four sections, not two. Who even is that, by the way, in those videos? <laughs> it's crazy watching yourself like grow up on social media. Like I just don't even look like that. I don't sound like that wild you know i haven't really washed my hair in a few days it's really greasy at this point but i've heard that the more dirty it is the easier it will be to cut it when did i ever say the more dirty it was the easier to cut it what how would that work no that's not true have it clean when you cut it so we're gonna go to the top of the head and you're gonna lay your comb on there and you're gonna find where the apex is hold on hold on hold on hold on that's confusing already is that good? Oh no, she's confused already, she said. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. If you're confused already, we're, we got a bumpy, rough road ahead of us, I'll tell you. I see nothing. Okay, so where is the highest point of my head? There's no high point. My head is flat. We're gonna just whoop. Is that good? Whoa, this actually looks pretty good. That looks insanely good. That is very nice sectioning. Congratulations, great job. Okay, done with step one. Please make sure your hair is all brushed out or combed out. Maybe I should separate this into two smaller sections. Separated all my hair in four sections actually because it was a little bit easier for me. I asked my boyfriend to help me with the pieces on the back. I don't think that I've done the sectioning right. I mean, they look pretty straight, but I don't know. Yes, she did the back correctly. Also, great job. Okay, that's exciting because you need to make sure those pieces in the back are laid flat. They're not pulled forward and then the elastic is put on. It is elastic while it's in the back. What you can also do is like hold the hair <laughs> and then go around the shoulder and then boo -boo, little elastic thing and then let it back again. But it needs to lay flat. It can't be like... Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I like to think I'm good at explaining stuff, but uh, at the end of the day, it is a fucking struggle. We are gonna point cut. Now, point cutting is when you go up instead of across or down, but instead of across. We're not going across, none of this. Okay, actually in a, in a recent video, I said, when did I ever tell you guys to point cut? I told you to point cut in this, so sorry about that. Sometimes the moral of the story is just like, don't trust me. <sighs> I'm scared. You know what? Whatever. Ooh, she's cutting off like five inches of hair. So excited about this. I honestly wish it was a little bit more, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I can do it. Come on, how much hair do I have? You can tell how thick her hair is by the sound those scissors are making in her hair. It's like... It's just cutting through a forest of hair. Guys, I did it! Woo! Yeah! I put one more elastic band here. I thought that that would be useful. No, that's not helping. The way she's cutting it, it looks like a, a math equation. It's like hand over here, hand over there. And the, there's two elastics. Her eyes are like, it's like, just hold it down here and cut it. That's it. Let's not overcomplicate things. I think you guys want it to be harder than it is sometimes. Uh, oh no, 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 no. I wasn't supposed to cut it like that. No, I was supposed to point cut like this. Just put it back on, it's fine. I think that I can fix it. All right, going to the back pieces. Now, these back pieces, that's a lot of hair in one place, but we're gonna try to get rid of it. Yay. I am obsessed with her personality and her accent. <laughs> oh my God, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not betraying me right now. It's just hair, okay? I'm not cutting my head off. Visual representation of the phrase, holding on to dear life. So one thing we're a little worried about is that she's point cutting, but she's not like evenly point cutting around her entire head. Some of the hair underneath the elastic is really short and some of it's a little bit longer. So you're gonna wanna make sure that the hair poking out from the elastic is just a little tiny centimeter long, you know? Let's point cut as close as we can to that elastic. You know what? My greatest talent is creating a mess. What if I cut like straight like that, very closely to that second elastic band that I put and then I point cut? Oh my God, that's so much hair. Gone! Woohoo! Oh, she's getting confident now. She just chopped off that huge piece of hair. Just psh, done. Okay, now I'm gonna just point cut. It will be a miracle if I do that and I don't cut any of my fingers off. So we're just gonna let those elastic down. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's a little uneven, but that's okay. You know, it's just the first step. We can fix this. It's so. It's already looking so much better though. The shorter length, oh, I love it. Look at this longer piece, gone. I wanna start laughing because I feel very uncomfortable right now. That's not bad. I wanted it shorter. It's very uneven, but I did it. Now this here is the real moment of truth. Oh, huh. Oh my God, I'm gonna fix that. Ah, <laughs> whoa. All right, something went amiss on the back section. We clearly over-directed a little bit forward when we cut, okay? And that's okay. These things can be fixed, but you know, at least we have a decent base to work with. You can see that this front piece is a lot shorter than this one. And I have no idea how to fix that. Like, what am I even doing? 
Yeah, I would definitely need to do some touch-ups here. <laughs> That's what I was saying. When you point cut, you gotta just make sure you do the same amount of point cutting on each bundle of hair or else you're gonna get very uneven lengths. <sighs> Let's get rid of that V. Oh yeah, that's better than what I did. It's still longer than what I wanted, but I can feel the freedom now. That looks great! Boyfriend killed it! Great job, boyfriend. You know, sometimes boyfriends come in handy for some random things in life, you know? I think it's now time for the layers, so that should be a little different and tricky. Okay, this is kinda easy. All right, and last section here. Let's go, baby. Oh, not bad. We need to take off a little bit more than that or else it's not gonna make much of a difference, honestly. You gotta take a considerable amount more off. Oh my God, my hair feels so much more alive, so much more bouncy. I don't remember when was the last time I curled my hair. I missed playing with my hair. It looks so much more alive, so much more fresh. Oh. Ah. Look how bouncy it is. Through my eyes, it's pretty good. You did such a great job, and I'm so happy you love it too. This looks so awesome. So much better than what you started with. Like, your hair is beautiful either way, but this, this is just a great transformation. It's kind of a dramatic yet subtle transformation that made a huge difference. So, awesome job. Thank you so much for posting that and letting me watch it. Um, I don't know why it took me three years to see that, but I'm glad I finally did see it. We are going to cut my own curtain bag. Things. I turned to YouTube and found some hair gurus and we're gonna be following a tutorial from Brad Mondo. Damn, that hair is a long too. Woof! We're gonna do some curtain bangs though. Okay, I'm excited to switch up the cut style. I don't remember exactly what that tutorial specifically said either, so we're both in for a treat to learn how to do your own curtain bangs with Brad Mondo. Literally, look how long my hair is now. I need to wet my hair, so I it's a wash day. I'm gonna give a quick little comb through. I, think I actually need to learn how to give myself an actual haircut. Look how freaking long my hair is. Oh my God. Holy f dude, your hair is so long. I don't think the curtain bang one was enough. Let's do the whole thing, huh? Holy sh Okay, let's refresh our memory. We gotta start with the part in the middle. And then it looks like he has a bigger section of hair. I think I'm gonna go with more bangs. First things first is the part. So my part is really weird. I have like a little cowlick right here, I guess. So my part isn't really in the center. I'm really gonna just part it a little more to the left. Okay, so here are the bangs that I already have. They actually go pretty high. Okay, and then I have so many baby hairs right here. Sectioning is looking perfecto. My hair is already gonna be dry by the time. <laughs> by the time I figure this out, my hair is gonna be dry. Okay, so I grabbed a little bit more, as you can tell, than I originally had. But I think that looks pretty good. All right, we're going for a little thicker bang today. You know what they say, the thicker the bang, the thicker the change. The thicker the bang, the thicker the bang. You know what I mean? You're gonna okay, comb so that section to the opposite the side. Face, After that, put in an elastic and pull the elastic it. down to about the corner the of your mouth. The Next, the cut mouth. the hair. Beautiful. Yo, I was on a roll with these tutorials back then, huh? Like, damn, I put out so many haircut tutorials during pandemic i was like do your hair yourself and it was good for me listen it was good it was good good but i already did all of them okay i'm gonna pin this one back since i'm gonna go across the face all right we got brushed across the face all right over direction is looking gorgeous the more over direction the more wispy that hair is going to be so really pull it far over Putting in the tie, and then we're just gonna move the tie down. Okay, wait, I gotta retie it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Pulling it down. I think that's it. Looking great! That elastic is gonna help keep the hair all nice and tidy and clean while we cut the section. So also this is just like no cleanup. Either. I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> don't fail me now, Brad Mondo. Oh god, I needed better scissors. Oh, these scissors suck. Now, she really has to make sure she doesn't cut this too short or else um, there's no going back. And sometimes these curtain bangs, y'all just go way too short, way too quick. Like, start off 
long, please. And then we can always take off more later. Usually starting around the lip area is good and recommended and then you can keep going up. Okay, hopefully that looks nice. Holy fork! She cut off so freaking much. What? Okay, this is looking good though. This is looking good. Today's a good day for Brad. No, oh, when you brush it out, kind of works. On this, let's go right here. Here we go. All right, side two, let's see what happens. Can she make them both look the same? That's always the hard part as well, so we'll see about that. <laughs> A little cricket. <laughs> it's a little cricket. Whoopsies, a little messy there. Oh. I mean, it looks good to me. I think we should, I think we should style it and blow it out. All right, now we're gonna blow out the bangs, which is honestly the biggest and most important part of cutting a curtain bang. Not actually, it is the second most important thing. Cause I think the first most important thing is actually cutting them well. You know, that would probably be useful. I got my ceramic brush here. Perfect size round brush for this. Let's see if she can follow my technique correctly. Okay, I watched another Brad Mondo tutorial for the bangs and he said to curl it out this way first and then under. <laughs> Not quite. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, wait, I actually really like my bangs. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh, but stop. These are actually so pretty. It's giving wispy curtain bangs and that is what we always want. I'm pretty obsessed with these bangs. Just look at them. They came out so good put them like this, you can tell that they are just curtain. I think they came out pretty decent for my first time. I probably should have given myself a little bit more layers here to make that transition a little nicer from bangs to like long hair. I don't know, maybe it's something I'll do next time I wash my hair. Oh my God. Okay, so many things to unpack here. I also agree they look awesome. And I also agree you should ease that transition to your longer hair with some face framing layers. Um, it's just a little bit like, bah. Bah. You know, like I wish it was just a little bit more like bah, bah. You know what I mean? Just a little more like I think you did a great job of following the directions. I think the directions were pretty simple, but you know, listen, people can fuck it up. And second of all, the blow dry was pretty damn good. I think all you gotta do next time, this looks great, but to make it even better, just pull all that hair forward into that round brush with the hair kind of like directed underneath it, blow it out, and it should cascade onto your face and back even better than it does right now. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. You know what? Keep us all updated. Comment below. How do you guys think she did? It's pretty good. I am gonna follow a Brad Mondo tutorial. It's gonna be the pro hairdresser guide to doing a butterfly cut. The last two times I went and got my hair cut, and actually most of the times when I get my hair cut professionally done, it does not matter where I go, who I go to, how much I pay or how much I don't pay. It always gets messed up. I'm not gonna sit here and say that every professional is good at doing hair. There are few and far between. Um, you really gotta do your research when you go to a hairdresser. Some people just don't have that natural talent, you know? I love all hairdressers, but I think that we all know that not everybody's as good as the, each other. There's also hairdressers that uh, really take focus on higher education, if you will, after hair school, educating themselves further on trends and what people are looking for and how to do even better um, than just the basics you learn in hair school. So you're really gonna find those people, you know, usually those people have great social media presence, so it's pretty easy to find a good hairdresser on social media, like say Instagram with a lot of before and after pictures in salon. Those are always the people I would go to, but you can get a bad haircut by a professional, believe it or not. Um, and that's just the risk you're sometimes taking. Brad Mondo says you need two hair ties, which I have, a spray bottle because you have to wet your hair, he says. A comb, he said the ones with larger and smaller is the best. I also have this to help me section it. I even went as far as getting a ruler to make sure I'm taking off an even amount for both ponytails. You know it's getting serious with the DIY haircut tutorial when we break out a ruler. I've seen these rulers come and go over the years and these haircuts. I'm not sure if they really help, but people seem to feel more confident when they use the rulers. So if you're feeling more confident, I'm feeling more confident. Excited to see where this goes because you look prepared. Brian Mondo, you'll be proud of me. I even ordered an actual hairdressing kit that comes with 
hairdresser scissors and shears because I have thick hair, so I'm probably gonna have to do some um, thinning in sections to make sure it's not blocky. Wow, all the tools necessary. You have got them and I am blown away. This isn't freshly washed hair. I'm on day two of not washing it because since I do have thick hair, on the day it is freshly washed and the day after it is even thicker. So here's what we have working with. I do have like a wave pattern. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous hair once again today. Gorgeous, thick, amazingly healthy hair. And I agree with you. It needs some life. It needs some movement. It needs some layering. It needs some. Sh it needs a shorter length. It's just heavy. It's weighing you down. And I want to see you get lifted up by your hair. You know what I mean? And it goes to about here. And yeah, um, should be interesting. It really needs some help. I haven't had it fixed since the last mess up. Also, I know nothing about hair. I don't know how to style it. When I say thick, I mean, we're talking like horse mane. Oh my God, that hair's so thick. What a dream. Spray my hair down until it's wet and then we'll go from there. Hair is damp, now to brush it out. My hair really holds water too, so should be good. I just need to squeeze the ends out a little bit. All right, it's not quite wet enough though. If your hair still has that wave pattern that you had before, it's probably not weighed down enough by enough wetness. Um, so next time, just put it in water and really get the hair wet, wet. Not just wet, wet, wet. <laughs> Get the water out. No, you want it dripping. Don't get too much of that water out. So like you said, place the comb. And wherever it's like hitting flat is your apex. So like, I think like right there. I'm actually not sure what tutorial she's following. It seems like butterfly or wolf cut, but we shall see. He said from the apex to behind the ears. So I'm gonna maybe do that off camera then show you. Okay, do I have it? Is it even? I don't know. My face is covered in sweat from my hair covering. This side went way more easier. It's looking good. It's looking good. I love the sectioning. Things are looking clean and delicious. Okay, how's this side? Is that good? I don't know if it's even, but I gotta pull it all forward and brush it out with a fine comb. Comb. Fine comb. Fine tooth comb. Oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm nervous? It's not perfect over here, and I don't know. Let's see if you can fix it. Just a smidgen. Sectioning is the hardest part. I'm losing my mind. She looks stressed. Breathe. I have to do a mandatory meditation portion of all these hair tutorials because they just seem to stress you guys the fuck out. And I'm so sorry. And I'm sweaty. I'm not having a point. Okay, let's fix that. Is it need to go lower? I think this is the wolf cut, right? I don't know the difference anymore. Is it a butterfly cut? Let me know down below, guys. <laughs> the front looks pretty good. He said to put it in the front. As smooth as you can. This is a wolf, right? It's a wolf. Looking like unicorn. I think I, I think I got that covered. Okay, but I did say in my tutorial to put the elastic in the middle of the eyebrows. And this doesn't look like the middle of the eyebrows. That looks way too high. If you cut it up too high like that, you're gonna end up with really short bangs in the front and it's not gonna look right. So I'm a little scared. So next up he says, you're gonna put this back half in the most, the highest of ponytails as you can, closest to the apex. <laughs> Doing the prep for these haircuts is honestly one of the hardest parts because um, it's just really hard doing ponytails. You know, really nice, clean ponytails with wet, thick hair. It's just heavy, it's tiring, it's time consuming, but I swear if you do it right, you'll get good results. Now, it needs to be smoothed out. Maybe uh, cutting my hair by myself is more like a two person job. Okay, I've been at this for like 15 minutes just trying to get this high ponytail, but with the length of my hair, it keeps getting naughty and how much there is. Like I have called for assistance just for this step. This isn't as high as it needs to be, but I even asked someone to come help me and that's as high as I could get my hair. It's too much and it's gonna have to uh, work. So yeah. Paddle work. Um, Oh, we're cutting off so much. Oh, shit. I'm obviously gonna have to fix this. <laughs> 
That's great though. I love that she's cutting off so much hair because with these haircuts, if you don't cut enough off, it just looks wacky and no, not wacky. It just looks like nothing happened. However, if you already have short hair and you're doing this tutorial, don't take that advice and don't cut too much off, okay? Because then it'll just look also wacky because then you'll have hair sticking up everywhere because the layers are an inch long. Yeah, that's not straight. That needs to be fixed. Toronto. Oh, I cannot wait to see the results of this. Okay, so she cut a lot off. Obviously, we went over that five times now, but she actually went for it. And um, oh, it's gonna make such a huge difference. This is gonna look so much better than what she had. I hope. Her hair is so thick. Those scissors are not cutting through very well. And the haircut is looking a little uneven in that ponytail. Like it's slanting upwards as we cut. Next up, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it right under my fingers there. <laughs> This is gonna end up so bad. We're gonna cut the front. There's no going back. And I am leaving enough length on it so if I do screw it up, there's still enough hair to fix it. I can't see, so you're gonna over direct it. The oh, already cutting is too late. There's too much hair. Oh my gosh. I can't cut it all the way through it. Before I take it out, I'm just gonna try to tidy up and even out the ends of this off camera. My shoulder is killing me from the weight. Can you get this ponytail? out without hurting myself. Oh, okay, there's one down. <laughs> Two down. It's crooked as fuck. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's always this part where people get so freaked out. They're like, what did I do? Breathe, you gotta, you gotta brush it out. It'll all come together, it'll fall into its place, but it's a little scary at first. <laughs> like this looks crazy. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna try to brush this and fix the part because this is much longer than the rest. Like I probably should have cut off more. Yo, wait, what happened there? <laughs> it's not terrible. I feel like I should have definitely took off more length, but I think because the ponytail on the back wasn't perfect way it should have been, it was really hard to work with, but you can definitely see the layers there. Now he says you can go in and clean up like the side, but if my hair is still too long to do like on myself, I think. And I can't really tell, like it definitely needs something. Okay, it's looking really good so far. I think you just need to trim the length of the hair so it's not such a dramatic difference from the layers up here to the length. Well, it is mostly dry, not styled. I do have, like you can definitely tell it's brought out more of my wave pattern. This is with no products, no styling. It's not terrible, it's not great either. I think a lot more length need to come off to like really make it flow. But like I said, I was having a really hard time with that high pony. It was a struggle. And then even with the help, it just wasn't quite at the apex as it should have been. And yeah, I'm sure that would have made a difference. And I'll show you the back. So it did definitely put more layers in. Oh my God. Okay, guys, the before and the after is dramatic, especially in the back. That looks a whole lot better. I agree with her though. Like the back section, something went amiss with that. Um, It's like a little bit like short layers and then long, long length, but it's so easy to fix that. Just bring up the length a little bit or just blend in the front layers with a little bit of slide cutting or a razor to kind of blend the two. But it looks so much better. And with a blowout, this would look spectacular. There is so much less weight in your head. This probably feels so much better for you. I think this is definitely a win, not a now. Oh my God. <laughs> Those were fun to watch. I'm glad I didn't have too many panic attacks while watching that because I always blame myself when things go wrong for you guys. Um, and I'm glad nothing went too wrong. Great job to you guys and thank you for recording those videos and sharing them i love watching them this is why i do what i do and i love seeing the confidence it brings over you guys when you finish your haircuts and you feel like a whole new person it's so exciting to me and i would love if you checked out my podcast called out of touch it is linked right down below i promise it's entertaining but it does show a completely different side of me so be warned if you are not ready to see real brad in the raw sometimes i say a little bit of crazy shit but um, hopefully you vibe with it. And again, make sure you check out Super Gloss Ultra Frizz Defense Spray. My brand new product that makes your hair humidity resistant, weatherproof, shiny, luxurious, soft, conditioned, healthy. Every single thing you could possibly want in one bottle. One treatment of this lasts about three washes. So a little goes a long way with this product. It is a great investment. It is a great product for every single person to have if you have hair on your head. You can shop this product and all my other hair care products with the links right down below. Low. Really excited about this one. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.